Hi students. Uh, good morning, one and all. So my name is Kakarla Krishna Kishore, Professor in Mechanical Engineering. So today we will discuss surface hardening in material technology. What is surface hardening and where it is used and what is the result of surface hardening and how it is used. So all these things we will discuss in this session. Now, let me discuss the surface hardening and the various features of surface hardening. See, here, this particular surface hardening, the purpose, the main purpose of surface hardening is to give the surface with maximum hardness compared to the inner surface. Anyway, let me discuss the salient features of surface hardening first. See, Surface hardening, so this is a like a heat treatment to the steel by heat or mechanical means to increase. The first one is increase the hardness of the outer surface. See, repeat, here we are concentrating on the outer surface. That means when compared to the core, the outer surface will be more hardness and maximum hardness compared to the core, so which is relatively soft. So this is called as surface hardening. See why this particular surface hardening we are doing for a particular material, especially steels. See, sometimes we require the surface with maximum hardness compared to the core. In those cases, this type of surface hardening is very much necessary and there is no other option for us to, that is with which we can do a lot of advantages. So that is surface hardening is having a lot of advantages. You can see here, this is a gear. This gear, especially if you manufacturing the gear, so this surface hardening is must for this particular product. See, whenever you are producing the gears, the hardened, that means the surface must be very hard compared to the inner surface. So this must be soft and tough. That is a core area. Core area means this is the area at which the surface, the material must be soft and tough. But the hardness of the surface that means this particular outer one this area must be hardened so that means for this purpose which particular procedure may be a good one see the surface hardening procedure with the help of this particular procedure we can make the surface with maximum hardness compared to or we can say that relatively maximum hardness compared to the inner surface see here we also say that the surface hardening as a case hardening. The main process, whatever the surface hardening we are saying, it is also represented as a case hardening. And this surface hardening process of hardening the surface of a metal does forming a thin layer of harder metal. See here, why we are calling this surface hardening as a case hardening here? See, the forming a thin layer of harder metal on the surface. So that's why we are calling the surface hardening process as a case hardening process here and you can see some image here so this is one surface hardening process in which only the layers at which whatever the layer that you want to make the harder so you can keep with the help of inductor or any other treatment that is a heat treatment only on the particular area so that means anyway the material has to be heated until it reaches the austenized surface layer and after that it has to be cooled like this. So water nozzles are applied. Automatically the same workpiece may be hardened at one place with some other hardness and that means hardness is going to vary from one area to another area because of this process. So anyway this is the one heat treatment process that is one, one type of surface hardening process with which we can maintain the different hardened layers in the same workpiece. So this is very much useful to maintain the various workpieces and various hardness in the same workpiece. See, whatever the area that you want to make the harden, so you can make with the help of this type of procedures. So this is very much useful. See, all the time we cannot require the total workpiece must be hardened with the R with the same value. So we are not supposed to maintain the same value for the throughout the workpiece. Sometimes this is also required. So in those cases, 
surface hardening procedure is very much useful here see why we are doing the surface hardening for a particular material see this surface hardening is usually done for the following reasons here the main reason so many reasons are available first one is to improve wear resistance here the wear resistance is very much important property without which we cannot utilize that material for the end usage wear it has to resist the wear any material has to resist the wear when load is applied it has to resist the wear the particular material is not supposed to wear after some time so that means the resistance if the wear resistance is maximum then the warranty period or the strength of the material we can say that is more compared to the other materials so that's why it has to be maintained if you want to maintain the wear resistance or to improve the wear resistance this procedure is good that is surface hardening is good and along with wear resistance we have to maintain or we have to improve the high contact stresses that means the resistance to high contact stresses see any material may contact with other materials but when it is contact with other materials definitely the stresses will be absorbed so to avoid those stresses here it has to be resist so for that reason also the surface must be very strong compared to the core one for that reason surface hardening is the best process compared to any other process and the fracture toughness it has to be avoid the fracture on the surface the surface must be clean the surface must be smooth and whenever if you want to use as a end product see for that purpose surface hardening is utilized and to improve the fatigue resistance so that means continuous loads may be applied on the material see to avoid the continuous load here that means if sometimes cracks may be observed because of the continuous loads to avoid all those things we have to go for surface hardening to avoid or to improve the fatigue resistance and sometimes to improve corrosion resistance also we are utilizing surface hardening here so many categories are available so first of all try to look the main categories of surface hardening so in which case the surface hardening is utilized see the surface hardening uh, with the help of this uh, so many advantages are there so that's why we have to divide we have to understand the purpose of the material for what purpose the material is made of so if you understand the purpose of the material so then we can apply the respective surface hardening see if the process that is this process that change the surface chemical composition so that means if you want to change the surface chemical composition so then this category is suitable see in this uh, this is a case hardening or thermo chemical process can be utilized for this purpose that is to if you want to change the surface chemical composition in another case uh, that do not change the surface chemical composition that means without changing the surface chemical position also that is composition also we can go for surface hardening that means the selective surface hardening we can do and uh, local thermal surface hardening we can do so these are the two important uh, or two general surface hardening techniques with which we can change that is without changing the chemical composition or by changing the chemical composition also we can increase the surface hardening you can see here some of the process uh, you can clearly see see this is the shop in which we are utilizing the surface hardening technique or we are applying the surface hardening technique here this is another technique sur hardened surface layer so that means carbon is added to the surface in which this in this technique we are adding carbon to the surface so that means carbon is added to the surface we can say that it is a carburization this is one of the surface hardening technique with which carbon percentage on the surface increases when compared to the core area so that means if you observe this area there is a surface of the particular product the carbon percentage increase if the carbon percentage increase what we can say here if the carbon percentage increase compared to the inner surface automatically we can say that by increasing the percentage of carbon the hardness of the surface increases and the hardness of the that is hardness value of the surface is more compared to the inner surface and next you can say that why this is surface hardening why we are doing this surface hardening process see the depth of hardening can be easily controlled this is the main reason 
we can say that why we are going for surface hardening see the so many advantages are there we cannot say that a single advantage here so many advantages are there depth of hardening can be easily controlled here by utilizing this particular technique so and here less distortion without disturbing the material without damaging the material we can implement this particular surface hardening process and oxidation see we cannot avoid oxidation in any material but here in this process oxidation is minimum compared to any other process and the loss of carbon is also minimum here the carbon percentage in general the carbon will be exposed to the atmosphere and the maximum loss will be observed in any other process but here in this process the loss of carbon is also minimum and the clean working environments can be maintained so this is very very important when we are doing any technique or any process on the material and the low energy consumption this improves or we can say that this deduct the cost of the material see when we are doing some heat treatment or any hardening process automatically the cost of the product increases but by utilizing surface hardening technique here it is utilizing the low energy consumption if it is utilizing low energy consumption automatically it will be a very useful technique to increase the hardness of the metal or material high output rate see compared to any other process uh, the rate of uh, increase of hardness is more compared to any other process that is high output rate only light machining is required after this process that means the surface has to be cleaned the surface has to be machined but after this process uh, compared to the other process only a small amount of uh, say thickness or small amount of the material can be removed that means only a light machining is required after this process so these products can be used directly without any additional process that is another advantage of surface hardening why we are going for the surface hardening because see after the surface hardening process is completed we can go directly without any additional process so automatically it reduces the cost of the product you can see here this particular image shows how the surface hardening is done for a particular material these are the steel products here and these are the carburizers in inner side of the box this is a box a closed box on that this is a cover here this is a test bar here so to check how much carbon percentage is available in the inside of the box this is a steel container and these are the components and these are the carburizers and these are the rammed powder some powder is here given in the inside of the box see when the total particular box is heated up to some temperature automatically it releases some because of the some chemical reaction the carbon is released and it is induced it is inserted in the surface of the material so this will happen by maintaining some technical procedures by maintaining some environment here and this is a surface hardening and what are the products here of surface hardening so what are the various products that we will get with the help of surface hardening so many products are available so many advantages are available especially see for a mechanical engineer for any automobile products the gears are important the ball and roller bearings are important piston pins are important so for all these products we can go for surface hardening process in which the surface is going to be hardened compared to the core surface here among the products made by carburizing so all these gears balls and roller bearings and piston pins are carburized that means carbon is added to the surface so that surface can be increased that is surface hardness can be increased another method of surface hardening called nitriding so nitriding is also surface hardening and which utilizes nitrogen and heat in carburizing carbon is added to the surface in nitrogen nitrogen that is in nitriding nitrogen is added to the surface by utilizing the heat and the nitrogen is induced in the surface here that is another advantage and the surface is very very hard compared to other process and the cam shaft which is very very important for any automobile and few fuel injection pumps and wall stems are typically hardened by this process see so many advantages not only for gears balls and roller bearings and piston pins here cam shafts fuel injection pumps these can be surface hardened here you can see here these are the water nozzles continuously hardened and uh, first of all it is heated up to some temperature so that it can be converted into austenized surface layer 
so this will happen for any material so what is the surface hardening of the stainless steel material here a wider applicability of these promising surface hardening treatments of stainless steel could be provided by the design and development of dedicated stainless steel without stainless steel we cannot uh, that is uh, say utilize some of the manufacturing process see in so many applications so we are utilizing stainless steel only and for those stainless steel after stainless steel is produced this surface hardening is the main technique with which we can increase the hardness of the surface that is stainless steel significant what is the significant here the significant of surface hardening of titanium and its alloys can be achieved by this particular cc treatment here and not only this because of the formation of the surface ceramic layer here and the oxygen diffusion height are the case that means especially we are concentrating on the surface only on the surface we can increase by increasing the carbon by increasing the nitrogen we can give the maximum hardness of the surface here so you can see here this is the gear surface the surface uh, is more maximum hardness compared to the inner surface suppose if you assume this is the surface this having maximum surface compared to the inner surface so all these products are surface hardened you can see here this is another product on which only the surface is going to be hardened and the inner surface will remain the same surface that means by increase the carbon only the carbon percentage only on the surface we can get we can give maximum surface here so this is all about uh, this uh, surface hardening we will discuss the various types of surface hardening methods in coming sessions i hope you have understood thank you thank you one and all so i am kakala krishna kishor professor in mechanical engineering signing off thank you thank you one and all